All right, good morning. So, uh, doing a little walk around of the bike. It's my 2022 Chief Dark Horse uh, in its current form. I've had this bike for a year. I won it in a raffle uh, from Brandon Mikaso. It is a rebuilt uh, motorcycle. Uh, it had about five or six thousand miles on it when the original owner low sided it and crashed it. Uh, Brandon Mikasa rebuilt it for YouTube and raffled it off at the end and I won it. So when I got it, it was basically looked like a stock cheap dark horse, um, except he had the, the tank painted blue. It's like a blue fade, so it fades into black. There was no badging on it, and I saw, I liked that. Um, those are from a chieftain, I think. Um, anyway, um, added a Speedwell uh, round air cleaner. Um, got a Forever Red cover. Original garage uh, uh, floorboards. Um, made with a uh, lawless garage, um, original garage slash lawless garage shifter pig. Um, this is a, uh, adapter from forever rad that they sell. Someone else makes it, I think. Um, but I got it at forever rad, um, that relocates the shifter pig with the floorboards there. Let's see if I guess that doesn't work. It sits higher than stock, so um, it messes with the shifter peg. Uh, so anyway, I relocated it. Um, I also have uh, Forever Rad uh, lift, uh, kickstand lift. <clears throat> so that's for a Challenger. Um, but I cut the uh, I cut the rubber. The rivets and took the rubber off and uh there were two holes there and it just screwed right through um let's see lawless garage original garage passenger pegs um speedwell supply saddle bags they don't make this model anymore um <clears throat> they discontinued it but they have one that's uh, like a pelican box style they look really good these are pretty nice um, let's see, Mustang Touring Passenger Front Seat, uh, Combustion Industries Sissy Bar, it's a 24 inch, I think. Uh, Combustion Industries Tail Tidy or whatever, I don't know. I like the look of the rear, uh, the OEM uh, rear lights, so I kept them instead of going with the Microns that Combustion Industries sells. Got the Galfer rotor back here. Some Metzler Cruise Techs. Um, TOL Designs Center. I don't remember what this is called. Uh, Krauss risers. Um, I extended the wiring harness so I could mount the pod up top. Um, I kept the OEM handlebars uh, because I didn't like the OD bars. I put on the OD bars, they put my wrist at a weird position and I kept getting wrist pain. So I put, I, I took them off and put the stock ones back on. Uh, quad lock, can't say enough good things about quad lock. Uh, lid locks, You're, you put your D ring for your helmet in here and you just push it in and it locks. Um, I have Wonderkind mirrors and levers adjustable levers super nice um, this obviously wedge fairing it's a uh, frame mounted uh, aftermarket so you do need if you want it you do need the uh, highway bars and it mounts to the highway bar and to the frame down tube right there um, let's see what else up here Guffer rotor in the front. <clears throat> if 
Fab 28 exhaust. Love it. Um, oh yeah, the wedge fairing has an MTX audio system. Um, <coughs> and the rear, the, sho the rear shocks are drag specialties shock bodies for a Dyna. Um, and the cheap spring was put on it. And Wallace Garage made an adapter. Because um, the, the chief spring is wider than the shock body, so Lawless Garage made a little collar um, that you can put at the top uh, to help keep it in place. Um, this is a 13 inch shock body, uh, which is adjustable up to half an inch. Uh, I know that Drag Specialties also makes one that starts at 13 and a half inches, adjustable to 14. Um, I'm pretty happy with the 13 inch. I also lifted the front. Um, speed well supply, fork risers, um, up to two inches. I have it set at an inch and a half right now. Um, I think that's it. It's a lot of stuff. Um, coming up next, I've got, uh, gonna do my best. I'm, I got a Challenger front end, uh, just forks, uh, wheel. And so I can go dual disc, uh, upside down front forks. Um, I like to cruise, but I also like to go fast and I like to corner. And uh, when you start doing that, you need to be able to stop fast too. So it'll be nice going dual discs. Uh, yeah, that's it for now. I think that was everything.